In my teens, we had LPs, and I looked after mine. I only held them by the edges. In the 80s, CDs brought music into the digital age. Quality was good, but some argued not as good as LPs. In 2003, Apple introduced iTunes and the music industry was lured by the ability to carry all your music in your pocket. This convenience came with the loss of audio quality. 320 kbps AAC didn't have the audio quality of an LP. But iPod integration in my car meant I could take my entire music library with me to the car. That sure is convenient. AAC is good enough for the noisy car environment. Over time, I stopped listening to complete albums and only listened to AAC and MP3s in my playlist. And I lost my love of the LP format. But my love of music has returned with Super Audio CDs. Super Audio CD is an optical disc format for audio storage, introduced in 1999 by Sony and Philips Electronics. And this was intended to be the successor to the compact disc format. Many SACD discs that were released from 2000 to 2005 are now out of print and only available in the used market. By 2009, the major record companies were no longer regularly releasing discs in this format. Used SACDs are now commanding up to $200 on the open market, and finding the album you want is becoming increasingly difficult. Even when you can find SACDs online, prices are really going through the roof. Now converting Super Audio CDs to digital files is beyond the scope of this video, but perhaps I will cover it in another video. DSD files have DFF or DSF file extension and are typically 88.2 kHz to 192 kHz. Multiples of 44.1 and 48 kHz. Multiples of clarity that your ear can definitely hear with good speakers. Direct Stream Digital is the ultimate digital format for audio quality. What's the best audio format ever? Direct. What's the ultimate audio format ever? Analog tapes or native DSD? Well, for those that watch this series a lot, you know my answer to that. DSD. The other preferred file formats are FLAC and ALAC. These stand for Free Lossless Audio Codec and Apple Lossless Audio Codec. Think of high res audio as basically a copy of the master that the record labels keep in their vaults. Now I have discovered high res audio, I find myself listening to albums again and enjoying music again. I have decided to drop my entire iTunes library and start from scratch. My goal is to only have DSD audio, lossless FLAC, and lossless ALAC. I've ended up with some AAC, maybe 1% in my new library, as some music is just too hard to find in high-res formats. You can have the fidelity of SACDs with the ease of use in iTunes and achieve this with a multitude of options on the market today. There are all-in-one boxes by NAM and Oralac that serve people who are not computer illiterate, but these are quite expensive. I chose the Cambridge DAC because of its front screen, which displays the song's information and metadata artwork, as well as its XLR balanced audio outputs. The best server-based options are Rune Server and Ottervana. Rune Server costs $500, but I chose Ottervana because of its supposedly better audio quality and simplicity of its iOS app. I run Audiovana on a Mac Mini and feed audio to my Cambridge Audio CXN V2 with an AudioQuest Cinnamon USB cable. The Mac Mini can feed 192 kHz over USB to the input of the Cambridge DAC. Since the highest quality digital recording I have ever found is 192 kHz, this works perfectly to feed the best possible signal to the DAC. The CXN has multiple digital inputs and outputs as well as balanced and unbalanced audio output. 
The Stream Magic app that Cambridge provides is functional in playing your digital files, but I really find it clunky to use. The Room app is nice, but requires a monthly subscription for the Room Core, i.e. the server part. Rune is nice in that it displays the song artwork to the CXN, but I find the Room app on the iPhone a little too busy. I like the simplicity and complete functionality of the Audiovana app. It gives you only what you need, albums, tracks, artists, and playlists. And you can easily edit playlists and upcoming queued music in the app. For me, it's a better app to control your music library. Audiovana does require a USB connection to the CXN V2, while Rune can stream to the CXN V2 Rune endpoint. This means your Mac and DAC don't need to be close to each other, or even in the same room. Rune is also $700 US. My advice is do your research. Do a lot of research. Watch the John Darko and Hans B. Genzen channels on YouTube for a start. By staying organized and keeping my high-res audio library filed by format, I can easily convert and add metadata to the entire library to an AAC copy for iTunes in the car. In my case, it only took two hours for this automatic conversion process for my entire library.